Well, I just got my kit from Crutchfield, and, in, and what I bought is a particular stereo. It's a, a brand by Kenwood, and it has a lot of functionality. Uh, it's really compatible with uh, iPhones, so uh, you know I, I thought I'd, I'd give myself a little bit of an upgrade. And the price for this is surprisingly, it's only like $120. So it was like $126 or something that, like that with shipping. Um, you know, it's unbelievable what you can get for your money now with the stereos and the, and the functionality for that matter. So I'm going to go ahead and try to set this on up. And with the kit, you also get a, uh, you know, which I just pulled on out here, this uh, removal kit. This just is used to pop the stereo out of the dash. Um, the way that I've got my stereo set on up, it, the, these tools aren't necessarily, but what the heck, it, it will help with the, the uh, removal of the stereo. I can actually do it pulling the, the stereo out first rather than pulling the trim panel and then getting the stereo out. You also get a, the uh, this install kit, and, you know, this mounting kit, which, uh, uh, of course, that's a single DIN radio, and this fits is supposed to at least fit for the double DIN uh, slot. Uh, by the way, you, if you can look online about uh, people installing double DINs in, in their truck for the Ford Super Duty, and they have to do some trimming around the, the trim, literally, uh, on the dash, and I'm not crazy about that, so uh, I just opted for, again, the single DIN. And then, lastly, you get your OEM adapter. And this OEM adapter, you know, you have your different color codes here, and then, of course, on the back side, they match on up with, you know, the different codes, of what the functionality is of each one of the wire codes. And if we open up the box for the Kenwood, I'm sure we'll find the, ma the matching uh, color or I descriptions for all these different uh, wires coming out of the back of the stereo. And uh, the idea is, is to, of course, match wire to wire the particular item that's... Uh, that's coming out of the stereo with the OEM harness and that way that, that's all you really have to do. I'm getting ready to wire up the uh, connectors and again you can see pretty it's almost uh, interesting everything is pretty much matches on up here. If we go to the left front speaker that's white over here I look at the color and of course uh, front left speaker white over here too. So just follow this match the match here the, the, the wires and, um, you know, what I have is just a set of uh, connector, uh, crimp connectors. I've already stripped the wires on the, on the uh, stereo uh, uh, connector here. And, of course, the OEM connector is, already has a pre-strip for you. You just have to pull it on off. Double check. Make sure this fits your OEM connector before you get started on doing all the crimp to crimp. It would be a bummer if, if, for whatever reason, this thing didn't plug on in after you got all done. So, um... So I think I'll, you know, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'll, I won't take any more video of this, but I will show you what, what it looks like here in the end. So that covers the connector part here. Well, you can see I've got the wire harness all put together. And for the most part, it was an exact color-to-color -color match on all wires. Uh, there's only two additional wires here. These are for the, uh, uh, the, the illumination for your radio. And since that's internal to the, the Kenwood stereo, it, it doesn't really need that. So um, I'm just going to black tape this on up, wrap it on up a little bit. And uh, for the most part, this part is done. So pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm going to remove the this dash uh, trim panel. The way that I'm going to do it is, um, it's really only pull, this is only held in with push clips. And the easiest way to get access to this is to go on the other side here, go on this side right here, and pull this trim panel on off. And that'll allow you to get your fingers behind this thing and pull. So if I pull, it just pops that thing loose and you can pretty much pop it all the way around. Um, of course, it might help to uh, put the steering column down as far down as you can get it. And um, then just pull around, and this whole area, this whole dash part, 
should uh, com be uh, completely removed without uh, very much effort. So we're going to go ahead and pull that on off and that will take care of this step. Well, after going through this several iterations, I'll walk you through on how to get this thing all together. The, uh, what he ended up doing is taking out the vents, and you need to do that to be able to screw this thing on together. But uh, the, really the first challenge is, is getting this inside the little receptacle or the, the meeting hole on your dash uh, trim panel. So it's best to have the face place, face plate off, this all screwed together, and of course you've got your hardware and I, I bent this to uh, allow conformance to the radio right here using a heat gun. You could cut it off too with just a pair of pliers but um, I opted to bend it to keep the, more of the structural integrity. And so I've got everything all, all together here snapped together. Um, and by the way, if you snap these sides on in here, you know, essentially the uh, well, it's a whole lot easier to take the faceplate off to snap these pieces on in. Otherwise, it's a, it's a real uh, challenge. So, um, a little bit of a learning curve on this. So, step number one is, is we're going to go ahead and slide this on in here and pop this in place. It's the easiest thing to do. Get the one, two, three clips on this side, and then on this side, it's a little bit more of a challenge, especially since we've got all this, this bracketry in here. And what I'm going to end up doing here is to give it a little bit of a, a support here, a little help. I don't know if you can see very well while I'm doing this, but I'm bending these tangs out up a little bit. And just, just enough to get over that shoulder there, pop them in place. Now, okay, now they're all on in. So I've got this, this piece in place, and it's all snapped together. Now the, the, the next step is, is to slide this radio on in. And uh, sliding on in, i got to make sure this is label up on top. So you slide this guy on in, and there's a... a um, Little tangs, they're hard to see, but they actually stick out and they don't let this thing go down any further. So this is where you want this thing to rest at, at the very end. So we're going to go ahead and screw these fasteners on that uh, hold this in place. And it's, uh, again, the, the, the reason to get the vents out is because it's, it's difficult to use the screwdriver to get these screws on in with the vents in the way. And to get this thing all together without those, those uh, without assembling it this way is a little bit of a challenge. So, you know, just pull this thing on back. Those tangs will stop the uh, stereo from sliding back any further than it needs to. And using that screw hole right there. Sheet metal screws there. And then on the other side, same thing. Alright. Now we have this part all assembled. Next thing really is, is and I won't do any, any video clips of that, is just to screw those back on in. And um, we can install this now in the truck. It's pretty much assembled. The only thing that, that I need to do inside the truck yet is, of course, we need to uh, plug in the wire harness. And that uh, uh, plugs in right here, of course, for the stereo side. And plug this into the OEM harness. And there's your microphone there, which is your jack for it is right here in the back side. So before we slide this all and put it all together, we need to run the, the microphone wire up to, um, you know, through the dash and up through the, an area where you, want to, where you want to place it. So after you get this all together, you run your microphone, you plug in your wire harness, 
and um, and then really you just snap it together and I think that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward install. Okay, just a quick little summary here. This is with the the kit faceplate and it looks pretty good. Um, and, it, and it doesn't at all really interfere with, um, I say that, uh, with, you know, installing or removing the faceplate there. And on the back side, you know, it, it looks pretty good too. I got the vents all uh, uh, tightened on up, all this hardware, and you know, it's pretty, pretty much in there, pretty tight. And then with the rear support, that should pretty much give you everything you need. And uh, as far as keeping this thing secure and not rattling around. And again, the last thing I need to do is, is just to wire on up the, uh, the microphone. I've got the, you know, the uh, stereo harness that I'll plug right on in here, which is pretty, pretty straightforward. I'll plug that on in when we get it in, in the truck. So uh, for the most part, this uh, job is nearing the end. So that's it for right now. Going ahead and, and installing the microphone. This microphone is kind of neat. Again, this is part of the, the stereo kit. It actually has like a little U in here. And so I'm going to slide this behind here and stick it on up here on the top. And then I'm going to, of course, run the, the wire up behind the headliner down the, the uh, if I can move the camera on over here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the side of here and uh, run that. that, that wire all the way down over here to the dash and uh, then of course over to the radio so I think that's a pretty good location for the microphone uh, I think this the stereo actually has a some sort of a uh, adjustment too for the sensitivity which is kind of uh, good right? so uh, we'll go ahead and put this together here and and uh, I think it's really only a couple more clips left and that's it all right time to put this thing together here first off I'm gonna take this connector and hook it on up to the OEM connector and looks like it goes on this way and even though it, it does have a push faster so that is actually clipped on in there and um, I ran my uh, of course microphone on over I've got the antenna now so you can't see it but I'm actually plugging on in here to oh, let me bring this on up here Hard for you to see, but maybe you can see some of it. Hook up the uh, harness for the stereo. That clicks in place. Hook up the antenna. Antenna goes right there. And lastly, we have microphone the microphone jack that's that wire right there of course and I'm sorry I can't see it but it's kind of a tough spot here to get the camera all right I'm just gonna plug that guy on in there all right so um, everything's in now it's just a matter of pushing this all back together You want to position this just right before you snap it in place. You can see it's all installed now, so I think that's pretty much it to the end of the project. Uh, fired it on up. I still have to figure out how to use the thing, but um, there's a, or even a remote with it, so. So I think that pretty much covers everything. It's, it looks like a clean install. So hope you enjoyed it.